Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to be reviewing sections 8.4 and 8.5 and then we will be taking a quiz on sections 8.4 and 8.5 and I'll explain more about that later but just know that we are not going to go back and re-quiz on 8.1 to 8.3. You don't know, have to know that material for this quiz. It will only be on these two sections. So for this review, what I want you to do is before each question, pause the video try the question, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how I worked it out. So go ahead and push pause and try number one. For number one, I start by looking at the angle. In this case, um, we're looking at angle X, and then I look at the two sides that have writing on them. In this case, it's the four and the nine. Now the four is the adjacent side to the angle and the nine is the hypotenuse. So I think about so katoa and I choose one of the ratios and I need the one with A and H. A and H go with ka and the C stands for cosine. So I'm gonna say cosine of X equals four over nine. This is not cosine times x, it's cosine of x. So to get rid of the word cosine, we have to do the inverse cosine. Remember, you're going to use inverse whenever you're looking for an angle. So inverse cosine will cancel out cosine. They're opposites of each other. And then um, x is going to be the inverse cosine of 4 divided by 9, which you type into your calculator. And I'm going to really quickly do that. and I get 63.61 degrees. And I would say for your homework and tests from here on out, two decimal places is great. If you round to the 100ths, that's great, two spots. Go ahead and pause the video and try number two. So again, I'm gonna start by looking at the angle that we're given, the one that's not 90 degrees. In this case, two sides have writing on it. One is the three, which is opposite of our angle, and one is x, which is the hypotenuse. When you think about Sokatoa, you're gonna choose one of these, and it's the one with O and H. So you're gonna choose sine. So it's gonna be sine of 20 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now this time the x is on the bottom of the fraction. So remember, you're gonna multiply by whatever is on the bottom, they will cancel out, but then to get x by itself, right now it's x times sine of 20. So to undo a times, we have to divide. We're gonna divide both sides by sine of 20. We're gonna be left with x equals three divided by sine 20. And you can type that into your calculator, which I'm doing right now, and I got 8.77. There is no label, so you also do not have to label. Go ahead and pause and try number three. All right, a tree casts a shadow, so you have to draw a fancy tree and its shadow. A 10 foot tree, so the tree itself is 10 feet tall and the shadow is 3.5 feet long, and we want to find the angle of elevation to the sun, which is kind of tricky. The sun would be up here, and it would be shining down and casting the shadow. And so the angle of elevation that we're looking for is down here, angling up towards the sun. This would be our right angle, and so you're going to have opposite and adjacent to our angle x. Opposite and adjacent are part of Toa. So you're going to choose tangent of x equals 10 over 3.5. You're going to have to do inverse tangent. Anytime you're solving for an angle, that's when you're using inverse. So x equals the inverse tangent of 10 divided by 3.5. You would type that into your calculator and you get approximately, let's see, Seventy point seven one degrees. All right, go ahead and pause and try number four. 
There are actually three ways to do this one. It's an equilateral triangle, so one thing we know is all the sides are 12, and that this height, this altitude, would divide that base into six and six, which would add up to 12. Um, so one thing you could do to find the height is you could do Pythagorean theorem, since you know two of the sides. You could do x squared plus six squared equals 12 squared. 12 would be your hypotenuse. Um, if you did it this way, you would take um, 36 from each side. And you'd get x squared equals 108. And then you'd have to take the square root of 108, which is 10.39. Now, there are other ways to do this as well. Um, one way is you could... Uh, realize that this is also going to be a 60, 60, 30, 30. So you could use the 30, 60, 90 stuff that we learned way back. Or you could use Sokotoa. And if you use Sokotoa, you have more information than you actually need. So you just have to decide what, what you want to use. You can kind of choose in this case. So let's say I chose to use the 60 degree angle. <clears throat> I want to find that that height right there, x, so that would be opposite of the 60 degree angle. And then I'm gonna choose to use, um, let's say the 12, and the 12 is the hypotenuse. And I could have used the six down here also, but I just chose to use the x and the 12. So opposite and hypotenuse go with so. So I would do sine of 60 equals x over 12, multiply by 12 on both sides, and then type in 12 sine 60, and guess what? You still get x equals 10.39. So there's, like I said, many ways to do this. You choose how you want to do it. Go ahead and pause and try number five. So an airplane <clears throat> leaves the runway at an angle of 12 degrees. So here's, here's the airplane taking off. Ooh, there it is in the sky and this angle that it took off at is 12 degrees. And um, as the plane continues to rise, its altitude reaches two miles. So this height here is two miles. It's two miles off the ground. What ground distance has been covered in that time? That means this side down here that would be on the ground. And so think about your Sokotoa. Um, if you're 12 degrees is here, your two miles is opposite, and the side you're looking for is adjacent. Opposite and adjacent go with TOA. So you would choose tangent of 12 degrees equals 2 over x. Multiply by whatever's in the denominator, and in this case we have to do divide by tangent 12. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, do on the other. We're going to wind up with x equals 2 divided by tangent 12. We would type that into our calculator. And we get x equals 9.41. And the label would be miles. Remember, if they label, you should label. If you forget to label on the quiz, you will lose some partial points. So always label if they label. Go ahead and try number 6. So I started by looking at the angle, 71. 4 is adjacent. X is hypotenuse. So if you think about Sokotoa, adjacent and hypotenuse go with ka, which stands for cosine. So I did cosine 71 equals 4 over x. Multiply by whatever's on the bottom. And then in this case, we'll divide by cosine 71 x equals 4 divided by cosine 71, which is 12.29, and there is no label. So we do not have to worry about labeling. Go ahead, pause, and try number 7. So this one's interesting. A general contractor is building a staircase. So imagine your stairs, right? Something like that. 
And the plan calls for the stairs to span a horizontal distance of 10 feet. So this, the horizontal, is 10 feet. And from the basement to the main level, which is the vertical distance, is 14 feet. And this would be the perpendicular. At what angle of elevations do the stairs need to be constructed? So basically, we need to figure out what is this angle of elevation. So think about the angle you're looking for. This 14 is opposite. The 10 is adjacent. <clears throat> o and A go with TOA. You just use tangent. So tangent of X, since we don't know the angle, equals opposite over adjacent. Now remember, you're going to have to do inverse tangent to solve this. The inverse tangent will cancel out tangent, and x is going to equal the inverse tangent of 14 divided by 10. So you're going to type that in, and I got 54.46, and this is an angle, so it's degrees, because it is the angle measure. Go ahead and pause and try number 8. Here's our angle we're looking for. The 25 is adjacent. The 46 is hypotenuse. If you think about SOHCAHTOA, adjacent and hypotenuse go with CA. So you're going to do cosine of X equals 25 over 46. You are going to need to do the inverse cosine to get X by itself. These cancel. X is going to be the inverse cosine of 25 divided by 46. So you will type that in. And I got 57.08 degrees. Watch your rounding. Um, you know, what I really got was 57. 0, 7, 9, 2, blah, blah, blah. If I'm rounding to the nearest hundredth, remember you look at the number that comes after it. If it's five or higher, you round that number up. That's why this became an eight. If it's four or lower, then you just leave, you would have left the seven alone. Go ahead and try number nine. This is our last one, our last practice question. So I drew a little lighthouse here, and the lady, um, a woman, is standing in a lighthouse that is 200 feet above the water. So that red thing up there, that's the lady. And the height of this uh, lighthouse is 200 feet tall. And she spots a boat coming in uh, to port at an angle of depression of 3 degrees. So from her line of sight down to a boat. So let's just say, whoops, the boat has to touch the water, I guess. Here's the boat. Um, from her line of sight down to this boat is an angle of depression of three degrees. How far away is the boat from the base of the lighthouse? We want to find this distance. Remember, we're going to use alternate interior angles. So if this angle up here is three degrees, then this angle down here is also three degrees. And then we can use this triangle down below. And so the X would be adjacent and the 200 would be opposite. And so opposite and adjacent go with TOA. So I would say tangent of three degrees equals 200 over X. Multiply by whatever's on the bottom of the fraction. In this case, we're gonna have to divide by tangent three on both sides of the equation. And X will turn out to be 200 divided by tangent three. Type that into your calculator. And I got 3,816.23, excuse me, and this would be feet. So that's how many feet away from the base of the lighthouse the boat is. All right, so here's the plan. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to do the review sheet for sections 8.4 to 8.5. When you're done with the review sheet, I want you to check your answers. There's a key on Schoology, check in updates, or you can check in the chapter eight folder, but you're gonna complete worksheet eight, four to eight, five, and check your answers. Um, I will have the work shown so you can figure out how to fix them if you got them wrong. Feel free to Schoology message me if you have questions. 
When you're done with the review and you got them right and you understand how to do them all, then you're gonna take the quiz. Now, this is a little different than our normal quizzes. This is gonna be an open notes and worksheets quiz, which means you can use your notes that you've taken while you watch the videos, and you can use your worksheets that you've done for sections eight, four, and eight, five while you take the quiz. You can have them right there, you can refer to them. However, you may not get help from parents, friends, relatives, neighbors, or anybody else. No human help. Um, you're on your honor for this, so I'm just kind of trusting that you'll actually do this. You may not Google, you may not use homework help sites, you may not use Siri, you may not look anything up on the internet, but you can use your notes and your worksheets. And so when you're done, you will submit this quiz to me on Schoology. Um, best of luck. Let me know if you need help.